Suppose everybody can hear me, Rob? Yeah. Yes. Um, Your Majesty, I'd like to thank you for your presence and your generosity in giving this piece of land back to the people of Port Phillip. Now, if we could just convince the Council and State Government to give us back our democratic rights to appeal the VCAT, we would have done the, won the daily double. The Council and the State Government are in place, Your Majesty, because of one of those great British institutions. That is, they are elected by the people. They are elected by the people to represent the people and to protect their rights and interests. And it's been the undervaluing and the indifference to this democratic principle that's got us to the stage that we are today. The people have not been represented, they've been excluded. Their interests haven't been looked after. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Their rights haven't been looked after. Their interests haven't been looked after. The only interests that have been looked after in this proposed site are very narrow and sectional interests. They're the interests of the council, the interests of the state government, and the interests of a few developers, and that's it. If you're angry and upset at the final proposal that's come forward, you should be just as angry and upset as the process that's been followed to get here. The process that's been followed to get here has been undemocratic and unprincipled, and has trampled on your rights as citizens. But finally, over the next 28 days, we get our one crack at having a voice. The council has just published a planning application for this site, and if you want to do something about it, if you want to change it, if you want to cut it down, you need to write letters to the council. You need to make your voice heard. There's three ways you can do it. One is you can get hold of the planning application from the council website or the <coughs> council offices and write letters to the council. Two, um, you can log on to YouTube or log on to the Unchained Secure the website and make your voice heard. Three, um, the Unchained Secure the people could always do with a bit of help and a bit of cash because in terms of um, cash you've got absolutely none and in terms of help we could always do with some. Um, sorry. Governments work on a simple principle. Silence is compliance. If they don't hear from you, they think you love them. If you're not marching in the streets, they reckon you're kneeling down in cathedrals lighting candles to them. So what you need to do is get out and make the voice heard. You need to tell the council what you want. You need to tell the council what you need. The other danger with this proposal is governments work off a very simple thing. They love setting a precedent. If they can set a precedent for something, to follow in the future, to refer back to in the future, and say, look, the people of St Kilda didn't really care when we stripped away their democratic rights <coughs> and we built this big monstrosity on the foreshore, therefore in the future they'll turn around and say, well, why don't we just follow the same process again? If you're, if you're concerned about that process, and I can tell you it will happen, you need to get your voice heard in council. Democracy belongs to people that stand up. You need to stand up and say something, you need to get it heard, and you need to get it heard over the next 28 days. Secure the website, we will be um, putting up some pro forma letters that you can use and you can use or model your responses on to the council. So it's a great suggestion. Yeah? yeah. Um, as Anna said, we are not anti development. Um, but development to be seems to suggest some sense of progress, some sense of advancement, some sense of achievement. And I'm not quite sure that the proposal that's in front of us now from the council um, fits any of those criteria. All proposals, as Anna said, are an amber claim. They're just up there. You can cut them down, you can change them, you can modify them. You're citizens of the city of Port Phillip. Get out there and make your voice heard across government, across council, and get this change to what you want it, what you want it to be. Um, once again, I'd just like to finish with 
The state government is currently sitting on a, a surplus of $1 billion. $1 billion. The council is telling us it's to refurbish the Palais behind us. It will cost $20 million. For that $20 million, they want to build a $300 monstrosity here. If the state government would chip in $10 million, 1% of their surplus, 1%, to refurbish a building, we could cut this site down by half. So once again, get stuck into the government and put that to them. Why are they sitting on a $1 billion surplus? Why won't they part with $10 or $20 million and help us get our site back to what we want it to be? I just want to say that again. Democracy belongs to people who stand up. If the governments don't hear from you, if the council doesn't hear from you, they'll think you love them. You need to get out there and shake the whole thing up a bit. Thanks for being here.